What's up, guys? John here, Titan Talk Tuesday. I'm glad to be here. Good start to the week. Either way, had some crazy stuff going on this weekend moving, and man, that was a hellacious, hellish process that still ain't over. I'm still doing it. I mean, I, I might look beat up right now because I've been doing this all weekend, literally from Friday to now. So I appreciate all you guys tuning in. What's going on? Back Toy Joy. Uh, Carlos, what's going on? Jilly, how you doing? Tall and Ark, Lucis 1X, Strength Addicts, what's going on, my man, Christian? Jilly, what's going on? Billa McGoat, what's going on? Steve Lowe, Dwayne, Ben Lopez, Keith, what's going on? Beard is good. I appreciate it, guys. It, people ask me about it all the time. This is like five days, so I grow facial hair and body hair pretty quick. Uh, California Commercial, what's going on? Jay Jackson, I'm doing well. I hope all you guys are doing well and have a good start to the week. Mitron, what's going on? My dude over in the U.K., Scott Robinson, Wave, Focus, what's going on? My man, Rar in the house, CC Diver, what's going on? Alex, what's going on? Uh, Priscilla, Lance, what's going on? I hope all is well. Uh, yeah, man, got a good show lined up for you guys. I want to answer all your questions, everything you guys want to know um, about Titan Medical Center or how we guys can help you perform better, look better, and feel better, right? That's what it's all about. And uh, if we start this and you guys are just tuning in and you don't know what Type Medical Center does, you're like, hey, I just, you know, I see this thing go live, I'm tuning in. Let me inform you real quick. Give me about one, two minutes, okay? Type Medical Center can service you anywhere in the United States except for Idaho, so 49 different states, with the services of hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, both males and females. It's not just one-sided. Peptides. So we got healing peptides, weight loss peptides, sexual peptides, right? We also can do blood work nationwide, wherever you're at. We're going to send you to a lab, see what's going on on the inside, and get you guys feeling better and looking better on the outside. So every day can be optimal. You're feeling good. You're rocking and rolling. And tomorrow will be a better day than the next. So let's get into the show, guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any questions about losing weight, being healthy, any of these different things, please shout it out. If you got a question about any of the therapies or you don't know what hormone replacement therapy is or whatever it is, let me know, okay? And we can definitely talk about it, all right? So first thing we're going to talk about today is, oh, I got a question. Then we'll get into the topic of that. All right, so Keith O'Donnell's asked, do you, do you feel being on tests or androgenic substances accelerated beard growth, body hair, but affect the hairline. In my personal experience, this is so true. People don't seem to connect the dots. Love. All right. So question. All right. So do you basically get more body hair, facial hair, and possibly lose hair with being on testosterone or any androgenic substances? So let's get down to the facts and get down to the nitty gritty. All right. So yes, you're probably going to be accelerated in body hair and in facial hair if your testosterone levels are higher. Now, this is very, very true. Now, for women, as long as they're not over their normal, natural range, they're not really going to go through that problem. Now, as guys, if we go above the 946, which is about 1,000, maybe 1,200, this could definitely accelerate. Uh, beard, I've always had a, a thick beard, guys. So, I mean, facial hair-wise, I've already had it. Now, body hair, I really didn't have too much body hair. And now, I definitely have more body hair. Um, back, all that. Now, the, the hairline. Now, really, you know, testosterone might start increasing higher DHT levels, which is dihydrotestosterone, and that's where the real effect is. Um, and now, you can control DHT levels, too, as well. So you can go on testosterone or androgenic substances, depending on what they are. Now, listen, if you say, I'm going on trend and I'm going on all these different underground or illegal steroids, right? Um, or substances that aren't approved, and they're going to raise testosterone levels and DHT levels and all these other things, yes, you're possibly going to lose some hair. Now, the other side of it, genetics, right? What's in your DNA? If your father, mother have had hair loss on either side, you are more prone to hair loss. Now, taking energetic substances after that at higher levels can definitely probably speed up that process of losing your hair. Now, if people are worried about hair loss, so you're saying, hey, listen, John, uh, my dad went bald very early, and I don't want to go bald, right? But I have low testosterone lows too, and I don't want to feel like this. You know, then you start looking at some different options. There are other medications out there that can lower or control DHT levels. Even shampoos out there that are good for this. 
And I know people that have definitely changed the game with that, right? I also know people that have taken all kinds of different substances underneath the sun and never lost a strand of the hair because genetics, right? It didn't matter. So it really depends on a couple different things as far as, you know, uh, you know, genetically wise uh, on your mother and father's side, if you've had hair loss um, or if you have it one or the other, and then what are you taking? And then are you blood testing to make sure that the levels are in check? Um, because like I said, there are preventers to these things. There are things that can definitely slow these things down or even kill it at, at that point. So you're not having any more hair loss or you don't have any hair loss because you start being proactive and prophylactic about it and using these different things. So th th I hope that answers your question. Uh, Nazural shampoo and Rogaine or Folligaine can prove very beneficial. It, this is true. Now, there are some other different ones out, out there that you can use. Uh, now, obviously, when you talk about Propecia, which is Finasteride. Now, Finasteride, I wouldn't recommend to somebody uh, because I've taken it. I know how it is. Uh, some people it affects in a very, very, very negative way. And it's almost like castration. Um, because you don't think about it, it kills your libido, and it doesn't even cross your mind that, you know, you did, right? And usually being on testosterone usually makes you more of a bull, right? You're raring to go more often. You're feeling good. You're feeling younger. Libido's up. It's natural. So that's one thing I don't like about it. What it does do, though, is it does lower DHT levels. Now, that's taken orally, right? And that's what the studies are on. Now, topically is another different thing because what happens is is blood flow to the, the follicles, um, it lowers, right? And at that point, the follicle then dies. And once the follicle dies, it shrinks, 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 and dies off. Um, it's not going to come back. And then, uh, you know, after that, you can do hair transplants or all these different things or grass um, to get, you know, some hair back in those areas. So at that point, you really want to look at the blood. The blood is definitely going to um, tell you the story about what you should do, what's going on. And then you can make the, the educated decision like, hey, listen, uh, I think that, I, you know, I might want to try something to, you know, be preventative about losing my hair. You know, and, it, and trust me, guys, there, there are all different things out there that people are losing their hair from now, whether it's stress, right? High stress, uh, alopecia. You've seen that with Jada Pinkett Smith, right? Um, the other one is COVID. Um now, there's been obviously a lot of patients that have lost a lot of hair just from having COVID and why, right? And this is uh, this is a big thing that's going on because, you know, we've seen, you know, just with some of our patients, even Sharice, like where COVID has totally shut off LH, FSH, um, affected different things in her body and, and other patients too as well. So that's just what it is. So you really, you got to make sure that, you know, you're doing these different things and checking these different things out. And if there's a problem, you need to, to address it right away and not wait. That's the other thing. How beneficial are NAD patches if you're in your late 30s? I'm on NAD caps now. <sighs> patches, probably better than the caps. I don't think the NAD caps are going to do you any good. You might be feeling a little bit out of it, but, you know, you're not really getting a lot of the absorption rate there through that. I don't care what transportation rate they say that these capsules are using, whether it's nanotechnology or not. Um, injections are going to probably work your best. Okay. Um, hundred milligrams, pretty good. That's definitely a good dose. That's what I would take, you know, with an injection possibly, or maybe a little bit underneath. Um, the IVs are going to be really good, <clears throat> but the only true way to really know how you're going to feel on it is if you take the NAD patches. Now, like I said, the absorption rate might be a little bit better as far as the NAD going directly through when, instead of breaking down the gastro tract in the stomach. So you might want to look at that way. And if, you know, an injection is an option for you, I would definitely look at that way, the, the next way, because you will feel it. You will get the best absorption rate other than an IV. Um, you can do it in the convenience of your own home or your office or wherever you're at. So I think that's definitely the best way to go. Is shoulder back acne a sign of higher estrogen while on testosterone? Absolutely. So when you start breaking out on testosterone, it's usually not the testosterone that's making you break out. It's usually what these this hormone is breaking down into, and it's usually high estradiol, estrogen, uh, where that's going to cause an issue, and it's definitely going to, you know, make you break out, and you'll have it in shoulders, back, chest, um, even people in their face when they get cystic acne and stuff like that. There are different treatments that you can use along with this. Um, we offer a Titan acne package and protocol, which has benzoyl peroxide wash and clindamycin pads. Um, we can also add an oral uh, medication in there, like doxycycline, along with it. But the true way to really, you know, balance it out is make sure the hormones are balanced. So if something's out of whack, <clears throat> yeah, we can put a bandaid over a bleeding wound, but why not get to the root of the problem and fix it? 
Um, and that's where the blood will tell it. And then if you have to adjust your medication dosages, that's going to be the way to go. Okay. All right. All right. Good info. I love you guys. Guys, listen up. John talks about blood work. That's how you can tell. A real clinic. Yep. It's definitely, it's definitely all about blood work, guys. It's not just taking something, playing Frankenstein. Oh, I think I know. Or the dive down the street says, oh, this is what I did. This is what you should do. You know, that's not the way to do it. Especially you don't want to mess around because, honestly, guys, uh, you know, I'm 41, right? So I've kind of been around a little bit. And definitely in the industry, as far as the fitness industry, even before that, um, you know, where guys, you know, they want to get big or they want to do these different things. And, you know, they go up to the biggest guy in the gym or, you know, where they see and they ask him what they're doing. And they kind of like break it down, like what they're doing, possibly, even if those guys are telling you the truth, because let's face it, probably 50% of them are not telling you the truth. Uh, even 50% will, will lie and say they're not taking anything. And they'll tell you, Hey, listen, just eat your uh, chicken and your rice and your asparagus and train six days a week and make sure you get your recovery. And, and that's how I do it. Well, you know, uh, I'd have to disagree with, with at least half of them. Like, that's what I said. I can tell. Usually I can tell if somebody's going to be on it or not. So it is what it is. Hold not long in the house. What's going on? Uh, Casey Crump, what's going on? My dude, holding. I hope you're holding it down, brother. George, how you doing? Uh, John Puto, what's going on? Ooh, caught you. Ooh, caught you there. Caught the cameras. Had to catch both of them. I don't know what happened there. Oh, the iPad. Sorry about that, guys. Give me one second to readjust for you. All right. Um, if you want to try TRT to see if it's beneficial, is there a dose that won't shut you down if the side effects are too much? So no, unfortunately. So what's going to happen is, is your body, right? It's super smart. It's super adaptive in what it does. So whether it feels something coming on or takes something in or something's going on inside, it tries to adapt to help you. Now, when you take testosterone in your body, whether it's an injection, an oral, a cream or a patch per se, you know, your body's going to recognize an outside source of testosterone coming in. So with that, what's going to happen is, is that you're going to, your, your brain has a signal going on to your testicles and your testicles are what produces testosterone in your body. And at that point, they're going to say, listen, we have testosterone in our body. We don't need the testicles to work. So that's when the shutdown happens, right? The shutdown happens and, you know, the testicles go into atrophy and, you know, lighting cells shut down in the body as far as that goes. And, you know, you're, you're using the testosterone. Now, with being on testosterone placement with us or hormone placement with, tes uh, with Titan is we do have a medication for going out of support. So we don't want you to shut down completely. We want to keep tricking your body saying, hey, listen, we still need you to produce, all right? But you're still adding to testosterone. So at that point, if you ever wanted to get off, right, you're not going to be totally in the dumps and crash and be like, oh, man, like I feel like crap. I should never do this, but I still don't want to lose my hair. The other thing is, is that you might want to try something before testosterone, like a clomiphene. Um, we offer that for patients that want to, to try to do a more natural route before they go on testosterone. And with a clomiphene, you're not going to lose your hair. It's not a main side effect of that. Uh, now, I'm not saying it could happen, but majority of patients never have any issues with that. You know, for me, I take our hair health capsules, uh, which have a number of different ingredients in it, the more natural ingredients, as far as salt palmetto, neti, grapeseed oil, and such. Um, I take them, and I literally haven't had any issues with that. Um, there are other preventative ways you can do for hair loss, even for girls and guys out there. Even if you're not on testosterone and you're thinning out, you know, they do have the, the, the light laser caps, and some of those caps are very good. Some are crappy, so make sure you're reading the reviews and you're getting a good cap. If you guys want me to, I'll recommend a cap for you guys that's out there that a lot of patients use out there um, to help. Vince, what's going on? Spanish War, what's up? Melissa Shaw in the house. Cruz, what's going on? Sid420, California. What's up? Raging Bull. God, Kevin Atolders, what's going on? I hope all as well. Yeah. Uh, speaking of crashes, there's zero crash of energy with ECA Stack Plus. This is so true. So, you know, if you are worried about crashing or you guys need energy out there, ECA Stack Plus is definitely the way to go. Uh, Robert Holt, no problem, man. So I hope it, it helped with my answer. Like I said, guys, I'm here for you. I, I do this every Tuesday for you guys. I could care less as far as for me, but I love interacting with you guys and I love uh, helping out in any way, shape, or form I possibly can. So let's talk about, <clears throat> unless you guys have any other questions right off the bat, and if you do, just shoot them out here and I'll be happy to answer them right away. So the next one I'm going to talk about, I'm talking about Tighten Up, right? So Tighten Up, my man, Illmatic, Tight Lifestyle, baby. Boom. Yes, sir. All right, so Tighten Up. So Tighten Up is a vitamin amino acid injectable therapy from Titan Medical Center. It's one of our signature custom vitamin amino acid injectable therapies. 
Now, we have a couple other different ones that are game changers as well. Tighten Up was one of the first ones we ever produced, we ever formulated, put together. And Tighten Up was awesome because Tighten Up combined a lot of different things that I was taking three or four different injections with. And, you know, for me, I was like, man, I'm like, this is a lot of injections. And I don't mind because I take probably about 10 injections a day. But, you know, for anybody else, it's going to be like, hey, this is, this is getting a little too much here, right? So what can I do? So at that point, you know, I went, went to the chemist, went to the pharmacist, said, listen, what can we combine here? How can we combine it? So everything's soluble, passes lab testing and all this. Um, and it's going to be very good for the patient without giving them a bruise or very concentrated medication can be sore. You know, so tighten up was the way to go. Now, when you ask what's in Tighten Up, we can start breaking it down. So, Tighten Up has MYC, methionine, and acetal, and choline, okay? Now, you might have said, seen MYC before with just B12 out there. They call it Super MYC or Super Weight Loss. MYC is great for weight loss and boosting metabolism, but it's also good for helping the liver process fats faster so you can utilize them. Uh, it's, it's a great, great combination just with those three. That's MYC. The next one. Talk about B complex, right? And B complex covers all the B vitamins from one through six, right? And these B vitamins um, do a lot of different things from the nervous system, from hair, skin, nails, right? Um, you know, it, energy comes in with B12, which is in there too as well. And then we talk about one branch chain amino acid that's in there, it's leucine. Leucine's great for recovery. It's great for going in, in anti-catabolic effect too as well. It's a branch chain amino acid, which means it's an essential amino acid too. Um, and then you have L-carnitine in it. So l carnitine is great for blood flow, muscle gain, uh, a ton of health benefits go along with that too. So when we talk about, oh gosh, sorry, Insta, I apologize to you guys, dropped you again, because I don't have rubber on one side of this phone. So if I tap the phone just a little bit, you fall. So I got to get a new case. That will be on order. I just want to wave to you guys as you tune in. Attic Keys in the house. What's going on? Jeff, how you doing? Brian Walton in the house. Good times. John Wall, you're very, I appreciate it too as well. Hope all is well. Yes, sir. All you got to do is sex the line. Get a tank top and a hat. We'll hook you up. Or you can buy them on the website, guys. TightMedicalCenter.com. Go there. Get your Titan apparel there. We'll send it out to you. You guys can rock it. Send me pictures. Tag the Titan Medical Center page so I can throw you up on the Titan Medical Center story. I love doing that for patients, supporters, or anybody out there. So definitely, definitely, let's do it. Thank you. I appreciate it, Kristen. All right, so what's the difference between TRT and HRT? Rome Gamble, great question. I get this one all the time, and I love to explain it to break it down for people. So let's talk about it. TRT, testosterone replacement therapy. This means that you're replacing testosterone that is lost or deficient in the body. So that's just replacing testosterone. Hormone replacement therapy. Hormone replacement therapy deals with replacing multiple hormones or balancing multiple hormones. So when we talk about testosterone, yes, you might need testosterone replacement therapy if it's low, but what you truly are going to do is hormone replacement therapy. And hormone replacement therapy are going to deal with the balance of hormones as well. So when we talk about this, if you say, listen, I just want to go on TRT. Okay, so let's explain that. So when you go on TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, there are general practitioners out there, maybe some clinics out there that will just sell you testosterone or have you take testosterone. They're doing you a disservice, Okay. And the reason they're doing a disservice is this. When you take testosterone into the body, right, from an outside source, you're going to start converting into other hormones, right? Things happen like this. It's not just testosterone we're replacing. So when we take it in and we're replacing it, it's going to start breaking off these different hormones, DHT, estrogen, estradiol, it's all these different things. So with that, these things can be getting into an unbalance. They can be going high. Um, getting out of sight, this is where DHT, maybe hair loss, or it could be into estrogen or estradiol, where then you're getting water retention, irritability, possible gynecomastia, and with water retention comes high blood pressure, and high blood pressure damage, excuse me, high blood pressure damages kidney levels too, or you know, kidney as far as function. Um, so you know, you want to make sure that these are on check. So that's the difference. TRT just replaces testosterone, and hormone replacement therapy is replacing different hormones or balancing them. And that's truly, if you want to feel better and you want to take full advantage of testosterone replacement therapy, it's really going to be hormone replacement therapy because you're going to be balancing everything in the body, making sure everything is harmonic balance so your body is working and, and, and feeling optimal, right? You want it to be like that all day long. Uh, all right, so what's the difference between tighten up and tighten complete? 
Great question, Jessica. So we just talked talked about Titan up, right? So Titan Complete is the next step up. Now, Titan Complete and Titan up have everything the exact same, except Titan Complete has two more components, and these are very valuable ones. It has isoleucine and valine. So with leucine, isoleucine, and valine, you now have all three and the only three branched chain amino acids. So you see those guys in the gym or you might be getting, you know, branched chain amino acids from the store and you're drinking them all day because you want these branched chain amino acids in your blood system all day long because you want the recovery, you want the muscle growth, you want all this good stuff. That is where the game changers are because you don't have to carry the jug no more. You don't have to drink it all day. You don't have to feel bloated and taste whatever flavor it is and have all the other garbage that's in it. You're getting the direct connect. I love it. And it's in your system and it's one little injection and you don't have to worry about it all day long. What could be better than that? So Titan Up is a great one. It has one branch chain amino acid though. When you go to Titan Complete, it has everything that Titan Up has, plus it has all three of the branch chain amino acids. And these things are essential amino acids, which means your body can't produce them. You're going to have to get them from some sort of outside source, whether it's eating or any supplementation. That's the only way to get these, okay? Stack up team. Amanda, what's going on? Love the pictures in front of the Lambo. I seen them by Gallant. Great photographer out there. Uh, Warpath Fit. If I'm with other clinics, do you recommend I finish up my dose before switching over? To you guys, I like how I offer other forms of therapies as well. I mean, listen, if you want to Warpath, you can you know finish up there. And you can still sign up as a patient for us, especially if you want to take advantage of all the other therapies, right? All you have to do is fill out the new patient paperwork. You're going to see our medical provider, and that's it. So you don't have to do blood work for most of the other therapies. And then when you're ready to transfer over, hey, we'll happily transfer you over, and we'll make it as easy as possible for you and seamless, okay? So it's, it's all easy. So if you want to finish up your dose there, I totally understand that. But you can still take advantage of the other therapies right now, right away, and that's what I would probably do. And then you can see, hopefully, how awesome our customer service is and patient care, and that will make you even more want to switch everything over, okay? So I really appreciate that, and it's very simple and easy to do. Um, when you're ready, all you have to do is fill out the patient paperwork. You can get this online or our website at titanmedicalcenter.com. Um, so it's very simple. Then get that automatically. We'll call you, schedule a consultation, and you're ready to rock and roll, all right? Uh, Mike Joseph, what's going on? Storm Soul, what's up? Alex Zays, what's going on? Callie Gus, what's going on? Oh, 212, what's going on? Lady Hawk, how you doing? Uh, Mr. Guy O, what's going on? Beast or Burton, John Wall, how you doing? Brooklyn Coastline K9. Those are my dudes out there. They're going to be delivering my beautiful baby Sasha here very shortly. Protection dogs, personal protection dogs, um, and real trained ones. I've seen some different people out there doing some things. These guys are top notch. Uh, so I'm vouching for them right away, and I haven't even got the dog yet. Um, so I'm very excited. So don't let me down, guys. Don't let me down with Sasha. I'm 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 really uh, I'm really pumped about it. I, I can't wait. I'm a dog lover, uh, and these guys are bringing me down with something that's very very special. So I can't wait. Hulk Squad in the house. What's up, dude? I hope the hip is doing better and better each day. Mac Nine G Eight Six. What's going on? How about Titan Complete and Nectar the Gods? Beast or Bird? Great question. I, I love these questions. Keep coming at me every Tuesday, guys. Think about them. Write them down. But hey, I'm gonna start hitting John with all these questions because I love them. I'll keep answering for you guys. This is what the show should be at a QA all day. I'll talk about the topics, but I love answering your questions. All right, so let's get down to it. Nectar of the gods. So we already heard about Titan Up. Titan Up's mic, B complex, right? One branch chain amino acid, leucine's in it, and then we have all carnitine. So it's gonna be great for like natural energy, boosting natural metabolism for weight loss, um, recovery in there as far as that, and uh, hopefully not going to a catabolic state with muscles and be able to train more. When we talk about nectar of the gods, nectar of the gods are a little bit different. Now, that's more closer to Hercules potion to a certain degree as the ingredient-wise in the list. Now, let's talk about it. So, we have arginine in there. So, it's great for blood flow and pump, okay? We have glutathione in there, super antioxidant, great for the immune system, great for being up free radicals in the body and getting them out. Then we talk about... Um, Lose, uh, excuse me, lysine, another immune system booster in there. So you're getting a great immune system boosting effect and preventative. So when you're going out and everybody's sick right now, I don't know how it is in your guys' state, but my kid even told me, he's like, yeah, he's going to junior high, whatever. Everybody's sick. Everybody's coughing. I, you know, there's people sick all around me. I, I get it all day. So I try to boost my immune system as best as possible. So you have arginine, you have, um, 
excuse me, lysine. You have proline in there, so it's a collagen-based amino for lubrication. You also have NAC in there, which goes right along with glutathione, another super antioxidant, as far as helping prevent different things. Also, for liver, so these are great for liver functions, EGFRs, right? When you look at these things, you know, it tells you where the, the liver enzymes are at. This will definitely help as far as that goes. Uh, excuse me, that's kidneys, EGFR. ALT, AST are liver, liver function enzymes. See, you try to catch me there, guys. Uh, so ALT, AST. So these can tremendously go down. So people that have fatty livers, um, you know, they're taking too much acetaminophen, right? Or they're drinking a lot of alcohol. I mean, a lot of alcohol. Um, the body is going to get a fatty liver. It's not going to work as well. If it goes too high, it can cause other issues like jaundice. Um, people even have liver failure if they keep abusing their liver functions. So glutathione and NAC are great for this. When somebody goes in for alcohol poisoning, right, into the emergency room, what do they think they give them? NAC, baby. Acetylcysteine. Right in an IV, right through them. Um, so that's one thing. And they might have to pump their stomach. You know, that'd be another one. But usually they give that right off the bat. Um, after that, you're talking about uh, glutamine. So glutamine is great for recovery. That's also in it. So glutamine, arginine, um, lysine. Uh, and there is no L-citrulline, there's no ornithine. So that's it. I think that's pretty much it as far as nectar of the gods for you guys. So it's great for immune system boosting. It's great for blood flow, uh, too, as well. And, uh, it should help in a lot of different ways. A lot of people like nectar of the gods because it has that daily dose of 60 milligrams as far as for the, uh, glutathione. Plus they're getting the arginine, the lysine, the NAC, the proline. Also L-carnitine's in it too as well. I forgot that one. I can't leave that one out because that's a big one. A lot of people are, are hot to trot on, um, on L-carnitine, and they should be. Uh, amino acids in general, right, or, or uh, precursors to a lot of different things in our body and help a lot of different things in our body and run a lot of different functions. Um, even when we talk about growth hormone, right, people are like, oh, I want growth hormone. Well, growth hormone is 191 amino acid chain. That's all it is, a sequence of amino acids which creates. So it's really, really cool. So amino acids and vitamins are very, very key. Now, transportation rate, how you're doing it, absorption rates, hold them in story. That's why you want to really look at injections if possible for the absorption rate, for the transportation rate to make sure you're getting every, all that good stuff. No fillers, no over-the-counter garbage. That's what it's all about. The best for the best. All right. How can you get the same amount of branched chain amino acids in your body from drinking it on a regular basis in one little shot? We're talking about absorbency, right? So when we talk about absorbency, Kevin, we talk about when we, we're drinking this down, Right, and are these things tested too? So we got to make sure we're, we're, you're you're getting what they say you're getting in that vial or bottle. The next thing after that is is how much are you really going to absorb? Right now, the way that I do it, Kevin, is this. You know, because I can get this argument all day long, and we can go back and forth, or I go back and forth with somebody and say, "Oh, well, this, you know, like, this is going to be better." Like, well, you know, this is doing this, and okay. So the way I do it. Just like I told you earlier, blood test. You know, Titan Medical Center can blood test every single amino acid in your body. I can tell you the percentage of what you're taking in orally to what you're going to do in the injection. I always do a Pepsi challenge. I've done it, I don't know how many times. I'll, I'll do a Pepsi challenge. I'm like, listen, you take your stuff, we'll test, right? We'll take my stuff, you test. At that point, we're going to see where those numbers come back. And I guarantee my numbers are going to come back higher as far as the percentage of absorbency in your body. They're going to be at a higher rate than when you take an oral. I've not, I've not lost this challenge yet. So at that point, I'm, I'm raring. Because if it is something oral out there that's going to work very, very well and not have any of the other garbage in it either, because that's the thing. You know, <clears throat> you're getting branched chain amino acids, but you're getting fillers, you know, other garbage in it. There might be a straight branched chain amino acid uh, supplement out there that you could take. Now, I'd probably be willing to do a Pepsi challenge with that and be a little bit better. And if it works, hey, listen, I'm not – like, hey, my stuff's the most superior stuff out there, or this is. But I'm telling you by, by scientific fact that if you do inject, you're going to get a higher absorbency and a different transportation rate because it's going right into the body, and your body's going to be able to absorb a lot more. When you start drinking, it's going to get breaking down your gastro tract, right? So at that point, you're really not going to get absorbed all this stuff. So that's the, really, that's the really key thing, I guess, is seeing how much the absorbency is. And then at that point, blood test. And that's going to tell us the true facts, right? That, there's no lying. There's no bias in blood. I love it. That's the best thing there is. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, Ellison, what's going on? Uh, Talosaurus, what's going on? Endeavor Farm, how you doing? Drinking goes to the liver, that's another thing. So you're talking about gastro tract getting broken down. Then it has to, you know, your livers are filtered to your body, Christian. So he nailed that right on the head. So, I mean, there's certain things out there that you know, it's like, uh, you know, there's there's different ways out. 
Uh, done. Love it. My man, Warpath, he's on it. Uh, Beast of Bird, y'all offer ACG with TRT. We'll talk about that in one second. So Warpath, if you do get on, as far as a patient, um, if you're not in the area and you can't come in, you make sure that when you go through as a patient, and let's say you do the order, you tell them Johnson to send you on a T-shirt and a, a little swag bag with it. I'll make sure they do it. And at that point, you'll be able to represent. Tag me with you and your therapies. I love it. I'll put it on there. I appreciate your support and you tune in and you're trusting us. Um, so next question, Beast of Bird, do you all offer ACG with TRT? So we did. We did for the longest, I think, out of any clinic out there. The problem is, is this. Um, there was a band that went in place. And this was like 10 years ago they wrote this law in. So that band went into place last year uh, in March. And at that point, it was a band that said, listen, if you don't own a biological license, then you cannot compound ACG. Now, there are commercial manufacturers of ACG out there, okay? So I'm not saying it's not out there, but it's a lot more expensive. I mean, a lot more expensive. So for the patient, it might not be practical to do, or it might be a lot more money, right? So not to say you can't get ACG, but um, ACG is not very easily uh, around anymore um, because there was a shortage right away. When the compounding went out of play because none of those idiots bought the biological license. Yes, the biological license was a couple million dollars, but think how many patients out there were taking HCG with hormone replacement therapy or TRT or for fertility. Now, those people in fertility are probably selling the commercial brand. That's fine. But there is there was a better way before. So at that point, you know, we went with something different. And honestly, it's been better for patients. A lot of patients, you know, we used to complain about taking HCG with us because they didn't want to do any extra shots. You know, and for me, I always thought ACG was superior to anything out there for gonadal support. That means keeping your testicles running and functioning to some sort of extent. Um, at that point, where that's where clomiphene really came into play. Um, that's one, and it's not clomid. It's in the family of, of clomid, but it is in clomiphene, different molecular structure. So with that, that works a lot better, and it's in an oral form, so it's a pill. There's also kispeptin out there, gonadal, uh, or gonadarelin. That's the other one. Uh, if I had to choose between those, and those are usually both injections, I'd probably go with kispeptin myself. Gonadarelin, you have to shoot multiple times for it to work properly. Okay? And a lot of places out there won't tell you that. I will. Because I don't have nothing to hide. I'll tell you guys straight up. I'm transparent. Can you talk about semi-glutide therapy? Do you combine this with another protocol as well? Is there aftercare protocol after 10 weeks? So great question out there. Um, yeah, so with semi-glutide, our Aries weight loss injectable therapy, it's an awesome therapy, right? And semi-glutide is a game changer. It really is. You can't combine it with any other protocol that we have out there. So if you want to take with ECAs, because semi-glutide is not a stimulant. Semi-glutide is a GLP-1, a glucogen-like peptide 1. It works with uh, releasing your nutrients at an evenly dispersed level, not spiking blood sugars in, 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 um, in your body. It's also going to help with curbing the appetite too as well. Um, those sugar cravings, late night cravings is going to go away. Uh, it's really, really good. And patients, you know, have lost a lot of weight on it, uh, all, all the way through and through, um, you know, whether they're really putting a lot of effort into it or not, they're usually getting some sort of great result. And you can definitely combine some different things with this or ECA stack plus. So if you have good cardiovascular health, uh, no, no problems there, blood, no blood pressure problems, this might be a good one to combine it with. Um, you know, as far as you'll have a lot more energy, it'll help expedite things as far as raising core temperature and the semi-glutide is going to be doing its job on its own. So you can do that with that. You can do it with Titan Complete, with Titan Up, any of the other ones out there that we offer. Um, it's a really, really great therapy. A lot of people are getting a lot of great results with it and I can't knock it. You know, when it first came out, I thought it was too good to be true. Now there's another drug that's even better than semi-glutide that's about to hit the market. So, um, you know, finally, I think they're not, they're hitting on the head as far as with this. And this was just something that they stumbled on, right? Just like Viagra. Viagra wasn't made for ED in the beginning. It was more of a blood pressure medication uh, for the heart. And at that point, you know, they seen the side effect of what was erections. And that was a bigger market, or just as big of a market, because um, what cardiovascular death, or cardiovascular disease is one of the biggest, you know, heart health issues out there as far as for men and women. But um, so semi-glutide was originally, uh, you know, it was a type 2 diabetes medication. It was to help lower hemoglobin A1C. So that's an average three-month sugar level range for you. And, uh, you know, with that, they seen the side effect was, was weight loss and the appetite, you know, curbing and stuff like that. So really, really good. Definitely works a lot better than anything I've ever seen on the market. And before, like, FDA approved weight loss, you know, there's not too many options out there that are FDA approved. Um, and this one is FDA approved. Um, the only one that was FDA approved before that, well, there was a couple, but the other one that was mainly prescribed that was abused 
um, was phetamine. And phetamine is not an, uh, a weight loss drug, right? But phetamine is an appetite suppressant, which is supposed to curb your appetite. With curb your appetite, yes, you're going to lose weight. Um, but it's supposed to help you choose better food sources and eat smaller portions. And it's something that you cannot stay on for a long extended period of time. With semi-glutide, this goes right into your question, Robert. Semi-glutide, you can stay on for a long extended period of time. There's no aftercare protocol at all. So you go off, you go off. Now your hunger might spike back up and all these different things. Um, so that's where the drug might be need to be used afterwards. But if you say, hey, listen, I can't afford it. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. It is what it is. Um, there's no like, it's not like testosterone where, listen, there is an after call protocol to make sure that, you know, you come back online so everything's all right and you're not crashing. Okay. Siri, what's going on? How are you doing? Yes. What is the approximate monthly cost of HRT? So Jeff, good question. So, uh, the approximate cost is usually between 225 and 375. What's up? Big Dan Wheeler's in the house, guys. Say hi. Yeah. We live. Titan talk. Usually he's out here talking with you guys, but he's over here helping me out at the house. So. Big shout out to Dan Wheeler. All right, so approximate cost for HRT or TRT programs through us. As far as a male goes, usually between 225 and 375. Um, this is going to be for your testosterone, your estrogen blockers, your gonadal support, whether it's in clomiphene, cisfeptin, or whatever it may be, your syringes, your needles, your shipping, your medical review fee, everything out the door. No other hidden costs. I don't like that. I'm very transparent. You know, some place like, oh, it's 99, but everything's a la carte after that, right? We're not like that. We're going to give you everything you need, everything that's supposed to be there, everything that you're going to do to be successful in raising your levels, keeping you raised, making you feel good, perform better, and look better. That's what we're going to do. All right? Ah, next to the guys. I've been wondering about that one, too. So, yeah, if you got any questions about any of the other ones, let me know. Any nootropics coming out? So, nootropics, man, I'm telling you. I know there's some ones on the market that are over the counter and stuff like that, but nootropic wise, if I had to pick something that was really going to be like a game changer for mental clarity and synopsis and all that, making you click, bang, boom, it's going to be NAD, bro. Uh, you take NAD as an injection, you know, you can feel it kick in and your day is going to be productive. Definitely clarity. If you have brain fog or anything like that, it's going to help clear up. It helps with um, cellular rejuvenation. It's in every living cell of the body. It's really a game changer. So if you're looking for something that's going to be good, that's going to be healthy too, this is probably going to be the one for you. All right. Uh, to Foya, what's going on? A beagle name hunter. All right. I was on IPAM Morellin, CJC from Titan. Bloomberg show no increase in IGF-1 levels. Any recommendations to increase IGF-1 levels? Wow. It didn't increase it at all. How long were you on it, Beagle? Um, 30 days, 60 days, anything like that? But I do have something for you that will – Probably, and I don't want, I can't say I guarantee things, but I'll put a good bet on it. Let's put it like this um, MK677, Ibutamortin. It's an oral I, or oral growth hormone release and hormone peptide. Okay. Um, you're going to take it orally. Definitely going to change the game as far as IGF 1 levels. Even the studies, um, I think it was uh, 123% as far as the raise in 55 years and older. Um, so at that point, you know, every patient we've literally had on that one. 30 days into it, man, we usually blood test you, and those IGF-1 levels are going to be up. We definitely want to raise IGF-1 levels, especially when they're in the dumps. IGF-1 is what growth hormone converts into from the liver, and what and goes on to the liver, converts into IGF-1, 2, and 3, and uh, this is a big thing. So IGF-1 has a lot of different effects as far as benefits for health um, and how you're aging, too, as well. So you definitely want to make sure you look into that. So let me know. Was it 30, 60 days you were out of the IPM, CJC? Because it usually does bump levels. Now, it doesn't go extreme, just like Semerol did back in the day. It doesn't bump extreme. A couple points, maybe, you know, 10, 15, 20. I've seen it 50 or 100, and not very often 100, so I'm not saying that. But I've definitely seen it bump usually about 50 points on an average, you know? And people are good with that. Like if they feel a little better, it helps them sleep, so they like it. But if we're really looking at IGF-1 levels, let's try, I and mean, I would say I would try MK677. Um, and then blood test 30 days. So if you have a baseline now of what it is, take it 30 days, go in and see where it is. Lifted Bighorn, what's going on? D. Helen, what's going on? Dogs, Diamonds, and Daisies. Ah, oh, I, I hope I answered these questions right. I'm not talking about myself today. All right. Uh, would you need stack Titan Complete and Nectar, or does Nectar replace Titan Complete with some extras? No, so I would stack those two. They're totally different as far as um, what, what's in them, except for the L-carnitine. That's the only overlapping uh, thing that's in 
Necro the Gods and Titan Complete together. So you can definitely stack those two together. There's nothing that's extra as far as, um, you know, one or the other. They're different in all ways, shapes, and forms, except for the Elkarnic that's in it. So you'll get a lot of different benefits from doing both of those, okay? So I left earlier. I had to do something. No problem, man. No problem. And when the family knows I like fitness and the women who are in the sport. That's okay. Hey, man, there's nothing wrong with you liking fitness. That's okay. When you come to, I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. I got my buddies there that's in London. He's trying to get me there. So I'm trying. Okay, makes sense. I thought it would, Kevin. I'm trying. Sick rat, what's going on? Uh, Real Jimmy, what's going on? Open a franchise. I'm trying to open my own one in London. Uh, hey, I'm with you on that. Trust me, I don't like spending $20 in a little ass bottle for Branch Jimmy. That's good in a week. No more than you, you do. I'm pretty sure that shot is worth it. It's, it definitely does. It's definitely worth it, man, for sure. You'll definitely feel a difference. Great people type. That was the best. My dude, sick rap. My man. And you get that Hellcat rap ready to roll. We're going to have a Titan Red Eye Hellcat jailbreak challenger rap tight medical center. I can't wait. I've been waiting on this bad boy for a long time to get rap. It's going to be good. What about people with epilepsy? So epilepsy is a big one out there. There might be some different things that we can help out with epilepsy. Um, I'll look into the exact ones for you. Warpath, my man. Uh, keep well, sir. I hope all is well. I hope all is well with you, man. Testosterone cream for women. Does it help muscle mass and how? Yes. So, good question, Dev. I like that. Dev's, Dev's always got some good questions. All right, so the question is this. So, testosterone cream for women. Does it help muscle mass and how? All right, so it's going to help definitely build lean muscle mass, lean muscle tissue, right? We know we do increase testosterone levels or have optimal testosterone levels. Our body is going to be able to create more muscle. Now, it's not just going to create muscle because you're rubbing on cream or taking an injection or taking orally. You know, that's a common misperception out there. People, you're taking testosterone. You're going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's not true. You're going to have to eat and you're going to have to train. That's the only way you're going to build muscle. You know, if you take testosterone cream and you go run marathons or, you know, you're playing basketball all day and you're not lifting any weights, you're going to lose weight. Of course, you might look lean, you might look toned, vascular, but true muscle gain is going to be with your training. Now, having your testosterone at optimal levels is going to help along with recovery and building lean muscle tissue. And then it's not just there. You have all the other effects where, you know, you're making sure you're getting branch chains and, and all these different things that will help aid these things and expedite maybe the result that you're getting. But, you know, having your testosterone levels at optimal levels, right, is going to be the most beneficial thing. It is the foundation of what we're doing inside our body. Our hormones are running a lot of different things and calling a lot of different shots in the body about what's going on. So it's 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 essential to have these things, our harmonic balance, everything working alongside each other and not just bumping one up and not the other. You know, for an example out there, I always give car guys. And if you're not a car person, let me tell you. So. When you have a car, and let's say you want to build this car up to go faster, usually you're like, all right, cool. I'm going to replace it with a big engine, and the engine's going to create all the horsepower, and the car's going to go faster. Cool. Definitely going to create more horsepower. Definitely going to help you go faster. But there's other things that will work alongside the engine. And if you don't know what they are, it's, one's a transmission. Transmission shifts the gears for the engine, gives the power to the wheels, and, and so on. So at that point, if the power to the engine is too much for the naturally stock transmission and then get the upgrade, things are going to break and the car is not going to run and it's not going to be optimal. So that's the best thing. So if you, you're upgrading one, you have to make sure the other one's in balance to be able to take along with it. So that's the best way to do it in labor terms for you. I hope that helps. Deb, if you want me to go more in depth, I would be happy to. No problems. But I think that hit it right in the head with uh, the layman version that I gave. The semi-glutide, Uncle Matt, uh, hurt muscle mass or gains. So listen, semi-glutide is not going to hurt exercising. It's not going to hurt your muscle mass or gains. But you're going to have to make sure you're getting enough protein in. You're going to have to make sure you're training. If you don't eat all day, of course, you're going to probably lose some of your muscle. Uh, it is what it is. Your body is going to go into a catabolic state. It's going to need these different things. Um, so at that point, you got to make sure that you're at least getting at what you're supposed to. And if you're trying to build, you might need to go into a calorie excess and not a deficit. So, you know, look at look at the food that you're doing and look at your meal plan, what you're doing. If you need help there, I'll, I'll give you some some ideas. Um, I'm not a nutritionist, or dietitian, guys. I'm not a coach. I don't write plans for people. Uh, it's not me. Well, I make some recommendations of what I do or what I, I can possibly help you out with, but I don't have that certificate or that that in my background, so I'll never tell you guys to do that stuff. All right, because I believe that 
you should literally blood test, look at cholesterol levels, all these good things, and then somebody should really break down your, maybe your food sensitivity allergies, well, which we can do through a blood test. So if you're on a meal plan and you think a meal plan is affecting you, you're getting bloated when you're eating something, you can definitely just do a blood test with us. See all the food allergy sensitivity tests. Just do all the different things and know where you're at and really know and make a good educated decision of what you're going to do going forward. So they're just losing weight or fat on semi-glutide. They're losing weight. They're losing fat. So it's, it's really, really crazy that, uh, you know, that most of them are, are losing a lot of the fat and even recomps, it's going to make easy for a recomp because at this point they are losing a lot of fat, right? So it's like, it was like 15 to 20% of total body mass. Really, really crazy. And, and I mean, Deb, you go check out the studies on it because they're everywhere. You can check them out. It's, it's really, really cool stuff. Uh, now they don't have bodybuilders and they probably haven't done studies on somebody that, you know, trying to do Mr. Olympia and, and trying to, you know, build all this mass up and they're, they're, they're trying to help people lose weight. And that's really what it does. So at that point, you got to stick to the game plan. You know, you're not going to lose muscle mass. If you get enough protein, you're training properly. You know, you will lose muscle mass. If you're not eating properly, you're not training and you're taking a weight loss medication. It's pretty simple. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory and straightforward. What's up? Hulk's by the house. Big Drew's in the house. What's up? Uh, who else in here? One tall Texan. What's going on? Uh, it's Tony Hernandez. What's going on? Obadell. Mark, can you talk about estrogen blockers? Lots of doctors and info saying they are bad for you and not to take it. What's your opinion? Yes, you should be taking estrogen blockers around testosterone. Majority of people out there. Unless you're not having any conversion. I think there's been thousands of patients out there. Listen. These doctors are telling, I've heard some of these doctors, like Dr. I don't know, I think his name was Dr. J or something like that. Like you never have to take a blocker and like all this. Guys, what are we talking about here? The, the science is there. The studies are there on estrogen, high estrogen, and high estrogen causing possibly breast cancer, cervical cancer, just in women alone. But guys, we can get cancer too. We can get breast cancer. It happens to guys. I mean, not as much as breast cancer for females, but definitely does happen. High estrogen levels are also going to cause water retention, Right. And with water retention, I just said this earlier, blood pressure. It's going to make your blood pressure high. It, 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 it's, it's simple, right? Water, expand, diet, it's, it's going to cause it. So, you know, then you're talking about those different things. Irritability. You know, if, you, if you're on TRT or HRT, if you go a couple days and you haven't taken your blocker per se, maybe a week or two, and, you know, you start getting sensitive like you start seeing stuff on tv and you might get a tear or start watering up and you're like what the hell i've never done this before we didn't even think about it and then somebody says like hey are you okay and you're like oh like this ain't right that's because your estrogen is too high that's like it's testosterone i mean you know when we talk about roid rage right everybody's like, oh it's testosterone i'm not saying turn but i'm talking about testosterone so testosterone it's not testosterone there's guys out there that take testosterone. They're never flipping out on people. They're very calm individuals. I mean, I don't flip out on people. I'm pretty good. Um, but if your estrogen's high, you're going to be very irritable. And for the ladies out there, no disrespect, but it's like being on your period. Your hormones are out of balance, all jacked up, bounced up. And that's why bloating happens, water retention, you know, some irritability and sensitivity, right? Oh, you did this to me. Like, what did I do? You know, you're saying, oh, you're just being hormonal. Well, that's a fact. You know, back in the day, people would get pissed off, and I'd say that. They're like, oh, you're, you're just being hormonal. Like, oh, I'm not being hormonal. Whatever. You know, you don't know me. Huh? Okay, well, you're being hormonal. It is what it is. It's okay. So blockers are needed. Um, that's my opinion, but that's probably a fact, right, uh, for most people out there. And listen, we talk about breast cancer, okay? And when we talk about breast cancer, what do you think these drugs are made for? So estrogen blockers. AIs, aromatized inhibitors, when we talk about the first one, which was Noveldex, we talk about anastrozole, letrozole, right? Um, and hi, there's more after that. So I'm just, you know, giving the examples. So these things are made because, you know, women usually have higher levels of estrogen. Sharice was one of them. Breast cancer on both sides of the family. Think about that. High, high levels. Um, so at that point, you know, taking that has definitely taking back some of the risk. And when you get breast cancer, they put you on these medications and they make you stay on these medications. Why? It, it's not to do with the breasts. It has to do with estrogen levels. So any doctor that's out there or whoever's saying this, I guess they can have their opinion. Um, but listen, I know our patients have been doing pretty good for 10 plus years. I've been doing this for about 11, 12 years myself, therapy-wise. 
Um, and I'm in better shape and well off than I was when I started. So I was a lot younger. Think about that. 11 or 12 years. Uh, I've known people that have been on this regiment for 20 or 30 years. Is what it is. Most doctors are usually going to use an estrogen blocker. And I've seen some doctors out there say, oh, no, no, no. Well, why? What happens when the estrogen goes high? When you start getting those negative symptoms, what about gynecomastia? You don't think that happens? And it happens to a lot of individuals out there. A lot of those guys, or underground guys, just taking testosterone. And most of them get gynecomastia. I think I'm going for surgery. I know plenty of patients that have been with other clinics before ours that have been on just testosterone because that's what was prescribed. And at that point, they get gynecomastia and they come to say, hey, what do I do about this? Sorry, dude. The only way you're going to get rid of that is surgery. It's not, it's not, it's not fat. It's not fat. It, it's a lump underneath your nipple, right? The nodule that's not going away, right? And that's tissue that's being developed. And estrogen can cause tissue growth, okay? You need a little bit of estrogen. Not to say you knock it all the way down and get rid of it in a healthy level and balance. That's what we want. We don't want it to go out above, and we don't want it to go below. We want it to be that sweet medium, and that's what we're controlling the whole replacement therapy. So, Mark, I hope that helps you guys out as far as understanding why you should take it, the good reason, and yes, they are useful, right? Uh, and just to, to tell everybody, no, you shouldn't take these. These are bad for you. That's not true. That's absolutely not true. I'd love to go head to head with some of these doctors because, I mean, most doctors are like, oh, because you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. But I've been around doctors a long time. I've learned from doctors directly. I've seen this thing, going through thousands of blood works with doctors, what they prescribe, why they prescribe it, the regiments, the whole nine. So I know what's going on. I know the drugs extensively, um, you know, at that point. So, you know, I'm just telling you what's, what I went through with the facts of what I've seen so far. You know, not to say anything else, but here's what it is. What's going on? Tell us. Cigarettes and coffee. What's going on? Just Ryan Blankenship. Uh, we're not doing franchise. I apologize. Uh, Brooklyn, 11219. What's up? What's up? I hope all is well with you. Um, Aloha in Florida. What's going on? What do you guys have? A good what do you guys have for a good test booster? So Brooklyn, uh, all right. So listen, it you know, and clomiphene is a good natural uh, uh, booster for testosterone as far as that goes. Without doing testosterone, um, if testosterone is too low and you you know older, um, it might work while you're taking it, but you might need testosterone replacement later. The best thing to do is really blood test. If you have really low testosterone, we need to fix that or see what the cause of the problem is to go there. So that would be it. I would I would blood test first before I took anything over the counter or through any clinic or anything like that, whether it's Titan or anybody else. I would definitely blood test first if you thought you needed testosterone or was low or you wanted to use a test booster. The other thing out there, a lot of people out there are going for SARMs, select androgen receptor modulators, and they're getting these from uh, online sites or wherever it's coming from. And at that point, then people think, oh, well, I can take a SARM and, and I don't have to take testosterone. And it's going to be better for me. Well, guys, SARMs are doing the exact opposite for people. They're shutting down their, their natural production. And at that point, they're needing to go on testosterone or some sort of therapy afterwards after they take this. So, guys, really, really understand what you're taking your body and what the side effects are going to be, not just now, but later on. You know, a lot of people don't think that, especially when you're younger. You have the Superman complex. complex and that's like nothing's going to hurt me. Nothing's ever going to go wrong. I'm invincible. That's what it is. I think we've all been through it, especially as males. I don't know if it's just going through puberty or at that age of 18 to 21 or a little bit afterwards, but it's there and until you get older and then something really does happen. And you're like, oh, I'm really not Superman. You know, I better back this up and start being a little bit more cautious about what I'm doing. The other thing is, is that you got people out there that are so in tune to what they eat or what they do, or this is not healthy or whatever it is, but man, they just go and they just ingest something or inject something into their body. They have no clue where it comes from or no clue what's made from. You know, so I'm like, I got to question that too. You're so healthy, or you're, you're the healthy person, and you're, you're willing to get a you're willing to get a vial from somebody, you know, and inject. You have no idea where it comes from, just because it's on a website. It, it's not good, guys. It's not good. Hulk Squad. I've had a good friend who's going to compete in figure class for her first time. She's a little iffy about her glutes. Look, it's a natural show, and is iffy about using Hercules potion. I would definitely use Hercules potion. Uh, tell her I wouldn't be iffy about anything. I promise you that. She won't have any issues with Hercules Potion. She's going to inject Hercules Potion. She's going to plump her rump. Her glutes are going to be on point. I would almost guarantee that. That's what most of the girl competitors use it for.
I got three to four minutes, guys. So, um, so we got, you know, basically, you know, you want to pump the rump, that's the one to go. Most of the competitors, girls and guys use it in different muscle groups and where they're lagging or where they really want to pump up. Now, it's not going to smooth it out. It's going to make it more vascular in some of the areas, not her glute. You know, depending on her glutes are shredded or not. I mean, you know, some different things that we can do, but uh, I don't think she should be iffy about it. And if she is iffy about it, she could do it, you know, she could do it, I don't know, a week beforehand or whatever and see how the effect's going to be so she knows what to expect. But I don't, I don't think she should be iffy about it. I think she should be good. Great point. A lot of mainstream doctors stay within just what they know. That's right. And they never want to learn more. That's the problem. Um, you have the, Especially when you have the older doctors. When I was getting into this, and it was like 10 plus years ago, uh, I went to a couple of different doctors to try to pick the right doctor. So who is going to be the doctor for Titan Medical Center to start? I always say I wanted somebody that was more in tune and was more educated uh, and a little bit younger, right? I went and did go to some older doctors and stuff like that. And the older doctors turned me away right away. They said, you're crazy. You're giving cancer patient medication, which was an astrazole at the time, which was the aromatized inhibitor um, and all these different things. But they never truly understood it because they never looked at the preventative side of it they just went by the pharmacology book of what a medication did, and that was it. So really got to look at some of these different things, and people have to be more open to learning. I was hoping Titan would be at the Tampa Fit Expo. What was that? What was the Tampa Fit Expo? I'm surprised. Let me know what that was. I would have loved to rent to that. Maybe next year. Let me know. Amistad, Ukraine, Brazilian, Joey, what's going on? Talvin, what's up? Jay, what's up? Glow by Nikel. It's my girl out in Chicago doing her thing. Aesthetics, baby. Accelerate aesthetics. You guys are in Chicago. You need some Botox, Juvederm, facial, whatever it is. She is your girl to go to for sure. 100%. Much love to you, girl. Uh, Rain Tan, what's going on, Deb? How you doing? Awesome. I love to have you 45 times a week, so I'll try it. Definitely. I mean, if you're looking for muscle, listen, the other one that I would do, Deb, depending on what you want to do, is MK. MK677 is definitely going to help you. I mean, it's definitely going to help as far as recovery and building help, building more mass for sure. So if that's what you're looking for, that might be something you can take along with it to expedite some of the things you're trying to do. Just beware. It might make you a little hungry. Justin Caviar, what's up, dude? I hope all is well. You guys check out his podcast. He's rocking it. Nick, Natural Energy, how you doing? Uh, Mesofaro, what's going on? Cole Henry, how you doing? Gabe Lowe said, Jordan, my dude, how you doing? Uh, Dominic, how you doing, bro? Hope you had a good birthday the other day. Uh, got quiet doing cardio. No problem. Do some cardio, man. Knock it out with dim work. So that's a good question too. So dim, dim has been prescribed by a lot of doctors out there, and uh, what it's supposed to do is control your estrogen. It definitely doesn't. Hundred percent. I see a bigger rebound with dim with patients that take it than don't. So I wouldn't use dim as far as an estrogen blocker. It's not going to be a good choice. Hamid, what's going on? All right, Rod, my dude, Rod, the OG, tighten up in the house. Cookie Rob, what's going on? Kevin, 6'6". Six, six. Uh, I only got, a, like, what, two more minutes, I think? One minute and 57 seconds on Instagram. They just gave me the clock. We love peptides. And peptides are awesome. They really are. Uh, so one guy said, have testosterone, the future is peptides. Listen, I can't agree with you more. The future is peptides. This is the problem. If there's no peptides out there that are going to naturally raise or I wouldn't even say naturally. There's no peptides out there that are going to raise your testosterone levels. That's a fact. Not yet. Not what we've seen so far. So we really need to work on something like that. SARMs are supposed to be the future, right? That's not the future, 100%. So testosterone is always going to be a base. So you're going to definitely need testosterone because you've got to replace it. And it's going to decline no matter what. We're going to decline. Guy, girl, I don't care what your genetics are, you're going to decline. At what age and what rate, that's for up for discussion. But at that point, you really got to look at these different things, all right? We love SARMs. SARMs no good, man. I, I, I know people that you know like that. And if you like them, great opinion on yours. My opinion, definitely don't. Uh, Dio Giovini, Frank, what are you saying you do differently to, to prevent that? Prevent what? I'm sorry. Um, prevent what? Let me know. I only got 45 seconds left. Uh, and so far, do you think most of Hollywood is on it? For sure, 100%. A hundred percent. Hollywood's definitely doing it for sure. I like that tank, John. Thanks. This is an older one from like, I don't know, five years ago. I'm like, my closet is all tight. I don't wear any like normal clothes anymore. The Rock is on so many things. Yeah, dude. Rock is definitely on. Hollywood is definitely on. How do you think those guys get in shape? You think it's just all hard work? Nah, man. Yeah, right. They got, the, they got the best, they got the best nutritionists, trainers, all this. And then people telling them what to do, what not to do. 
Do you have anything for tenants in an element? Ligaments? Yes. BBC 157, TB 500. Really trying to put on muscle. What do you guys suggest TRT-wise? Uh, TR oh, God, I just lost you guys. No! 